Yo guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Brown Hammer, and today I have an absolutely insane 70 kill gameplay on the new Nuketown map. So, I kind of obviously, like like most people, I've been playing the map non-stop since it came out. And I'm really going for the uh, for just ranking up my guns as much as possible. And you can see right off the bat here, I start off, you know, just straight up nading someone off the spawn, getting these two kills here, and then I go, I go in right here. Like, I just... <laughs> You know get get behind him i get all these kills here and uh see i actually don't have the gun ranked up enough so i keep i run out of ammo quite a few times throughout this gameplay but so while that gameplay is going on i'm actually gonna go ahead and try and just talk about some more casual things so it's really the map that's like insane right now because the, the way the map plays is unlike anything we have seen and you can see i run out of ammo there again and I'm sorry, because I'm going to do all this in one take because it's Thanksgiving and I have things I got to do. Also, have a great and safe Thanksgiving. But So one thing I wanted to point out right here in this part of the gameplay is, so you see how I spawned on C. My whole team spawned on C before me and they all passed the objective. They're all so excited to play the new Nuketown map that they all literally just ran past the objective. And that ha that's happened so many times to me. Um, now, I'm not going to say that I... Am, you know an only objective player or anything but I, I at least try to go for the objective especially if you can get that hundred percent contribution because with the double XP right now you are ranking up like crazy I'm actually prestige two now and uh, it's I'm pretty sure it's stopping my progress for some reason because I just tweeted at Treyarch telling them like hey you know it said I was level 58 like prestige two or yeah prestige two level 58 or something like that and then um, whenever I was only prestige one and I had passed 55 and it ranked me up to 58. You can see I ran out of ammo again. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. Uh, I'm hoping that there's like a hot fix for that tonight. I know it's going to be it's kind of a, you know, not not a day where you'd really expect anything because I assume they're all taking the day off. But those, those kinds of things just can't keep happening, man. Like I, I don't want to keep playing whenever I, I can't rank up, especially with the with the amount of XP you can get right now. Like. It's insane. But yeah, so that's kind of my general focus right now is ranking up my guns, uh, trying to get them to the higher ranks so I can at least unlock all of the challenges. So after the double weapon XP and the double XP wears off, I no longer have to worry about ranking the guns up. I can just do the challenges for the guns. And you guys can tell, like my, my gunplay is not the best here. I'm kind of like, whenever whenever I record these types of gameplays, I am really just chilling, vibing, not listening to music, you know. And if things like this tend to happen where I get, you know, I've had these really, really high kill games these past few days. And it's, uh, it's been insane. I've had, and I've had an insane, like, you know, I've had like 30 kills each match and it's crazy. So, you know, whenever things like that keep happening, I kind of just, I take it upon myself to just try and at least do objective play i try to rank up every gun i've got i've made so many different classes lately where i'm just constantly switching between these class every match to rank up different guns and use different guns and honestly what's kind of crazy if you don't know i really really enjoy sniping that's kind of like one of the things that that's my thing kind of and i know a lot of people in the community are snipers but that's kind of just one of the things that i've loved doing since like black ops two days so also i go in right here with the bow look at this But yeah, sniping has always been one of those things to me that I just, it's so satisfying and it's so much fun to do. So, uh, switching up and using different, like using the guns that outgun me is insane. Like that's why I'm going off so much. Like literally most of my, almost all of my games now are like, I'm always going positive. I'm getting more than 30 kills each match. And I'm usually the, like the main contributor to the objectives, which is awesome because I've finally learned how to play a little more aggressively than, uh, than just quick scoping because that's honestly what I used to that's all I used to do really oh so uh, right there I don't know if you heard it they said the same turret locked onto my helicopter I actually can just take it out right here I don't even think it kills my helicopter I don't actually know but and you guys can see okay level 36 right i just told you i literally have gotten over this was recorded yesterday <laughs> and i'm already prestige two so i've literally gained over you know 25 ranks almost in just one full day of gameplay oh, 
and I kind of think this this match in particular was just a really good it was great RNG like it's what it seems like because I kind of got paired with like I, I didn't do this was the first match that I had recorded of that day so my skill based matchmaking would have just been placed probably based off of my last score which was pretty good I'd say so uh, I, well that depends if it goes off score or score per minute but lately those have been pretty high so it would have been placed I would have been placed in a match where those other people were had at least a high uh, score per minute, I hope. Um, and you see things like the double kill with the proximity mine. Those kinds of things don't ever usually happen. So, like, that's kind of why this match is so crazy. Because I didn't expect for things like that. And I, I really didn't mean to go in like I did, like I ended up doing. But I'm pretty sure I ended up getting... I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I got so many kills. Because I don't... I might get a chopper gunner at some point. I feel like that's definitely what it is. But uh, I haven't looked at the gameplay since then because I've just been grinding. And that's kind of what's crazy about this map and this gameplay, this game in general. So halftime, I'm at 40 kills, which means I get another, like, 35 kills almost just within the next half of the match, which is absolutely crazy. Like, it's insane and crazy. I just combined those. <sighs> Man, it's, it's a crazy match, that's for sure. And I'm loving, I just love the way that the game plays out right now. If they would just, if they would fix the very, very minuscule bugs. Oh, look at that. The motocross is right outside my window right now. If they would just fix the minuscule bugs, like the ranking system does not ever need to break like it does. And you're like, your, your double XP needs to stack. Your camos need to stay unlocked when they're unlocked. If they change the... Like, that was crazy, too, that nade. But <laughs> if they change the requirements for certain camos and you're already above it, like they have been doing with the zombies camos, those need to, like, just be, like, they need to be unlocked. I don't know how such a massive company can mess these kinds of things up. It actually, like, baffles me because they have such a huge team of people. You know they have a huge team of developers and, like, you know, testers and everything. Well, at least I hope they have testers. I can kind of like I can kind of say that and kind of not because you've seen the way that the guns have been balanced in the past few CODs. Like, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way they have uh, regular players testing this stuff. So, but yeah, honestly, this match is like just a good good amount of luck here, and it really really ranked like it just goes to show that like you switch up your play style a little bit, and you switch up you know what you're doing and what you're used to, and you can just pop off. So if you're feeling like you're doing really, really bad at the game and you're feeling like you're constantly getting outgunned, I'm not saying switch to, you know, the MP5, like a cheese gun or the M16 or the AUG or the XM4 even. I'm saying just switch it up. So let's say you are constantly being sniped. Try sniping. I know it's, I mean, I, I can't recommend sniping in this game for anybody because you can have, you know, so many hit markers, but <laughs> uh, a war machine. Okay, this probably ends up helping a little bit with the kills, I'd assume. So actually, speaking of the war machine, I guess it's not necessarily the war machine, but the, oh my god, what did they call it? The China Lake, I don't know, I don't remember the name for it that they call it in the game, but I have been loving using that thing, and actually on Nuketown, obviously, I've ranked it up multiple, multiple times. I have a class set up for, ba for basically the knife in the XM4, or the China Lake, so I can actually use those things as much as possible and rank them up as much as possible during this uh, time period here. And, you know, like I was saying, as long as I get, okay, so I actually got no kills with that, by the way, but as long as I get all of my guns ranked up to a high enough level, it'll just make going for the challenges easier because then I can start stacking challenges on top of each other, I think. I think that's how it works. I, I don't quite know, but I'm pretty sure once every, like once everything is unlocked, you can, like, let's, like, you can get your basic eliminations done while getting your double kills done, while getting your five kills without dying done, while getting... Like, I'm pretty sure those will stack like that. And if they don't, that's going to be tough. But I hope they do. I know it's been kind of crazy lately. Uh, people with camos and everything. It's been insane. Uh, right here, I, I try to go for, like, a little bit of a spawn trap. And I, you know, keep running out of ammo. Because I expect to have at least a 40 round mag on. Um, you know, it's just kind of basic stuff here. I'm trying to hold down, like, a, trying to keep them off of the objectives as much as possible, too, with uh, nading each objective and trying to play, you know, strategically, but also, like, kind of just chaotic because it's Nuketown and no nuke. It's like, that's like saying you're going to play shipment strategically. You're, you're not going to do that. 
You can try to. It's not going to work, but you can definitely try to. All, all you guys need to quite understand right now is I have a very, very large amount of Nuketown gameplay recorded. And they also added in a hardcore Nuketown 24-7. Uh, so that has been awesome to play for like the pistols and the Beretta 50 cal because you can literally not get a kill with that unless you're like directly in the head. You can't even hit them like right in the chin. He, they won't die. You got to double tap them or get them directly in the head. So hardcore has been amazing for that. The type uh, type 83, I think it is, has also been insane in hardcore because it's just a one tap. Like anything, really. The only thing I wish they would do with hardcore is I wish they would reflect damage instead of just killing your teammate. Like team kills should not be on for hardcore. I can't like I actually had someone die to a bouncing Betty earlier because a teammate tripped it or a, uh, an enemy tripped it and the teammate ran by it and it killed him. And I, I mean, I personally would rather, you know, reflect the damage onto me and not count against like my uh, not actually count against my death, but just, you know, kill me from what I'm doing or uh, or just not have it do anything. I don't know why they have to make it actually kill the teammate. That doesn't make any sense. And I don't I didn't see what score I just flashed there, but I think I'm getting pretty close to the ending here. And I know I definitely dropped 70 exactly, which is kind of crazy. So. I just think uh, I think this has been they've, they've implemented this pretty well into the game in the style and the movement and the, the mechanics of this game really fit the map, which is great because usually you'll see maps that like are just so hard to work the game mechanics around and they, they don't ever, you know, no company really ever does it properly where it's like so smooth. And so so I think Treyarch really has done it. Oh, look at that. There, there they go again. The motorcycles right past the window. Is that a plane? I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I just, I am really, really liking, see, like, right here, if you can get him in the, I should have been behind the couch, actually, because then I could have had a little more time to get that guy. But once you can get him in a pretty good spawn trap, I mean, it's basically game over. Like, we, uh, we did a pretty good job holding B down, which is great. My teammates weren't the best, but, you know, it happens. And right there, that's game. That's it. 70 and 26. I mean... Like, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, don't forget to drop like, subscribe, and comment down below. Uh, let me know what your highest kill game is. This has definitely been my highest kill game. I think in a Call of Duty in the past like three years. That's not. That's not true. Uh, that's not true because of Modern Warfare shipment stuff. But my highest like normal match game. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.